Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome to Car Gap on the East Norfolk coast. It wasn't my intention to go to the coast tonight to do a vlog because I was in, I was going into Broadland. In fact, I'd headed to Howe Hill, which is one of the famous Broadland locations and had an idea for a nice couple of shots at the end of the day, but it was full of Broads cruises. I thought, you know, in June, we're not quite at the height of summer or height of the tourist season, but there were loads and loads of boats, so it would have been impossible. So here I am at Cart Gap, which is the village just south of Haysborough. Now, Haysborough you may have heard of. It's a very famous Norfolk coast location, and rightly so, fantastic place. But I'm at the, um, like I say, I'm at the southern side of um, Haysborough, at Cart Gap, and I'm gonna just be doing some seascape type stuff maybe some long exposure stuff using the groins. Um, at, when I was at Howe Hill, at least I made the, I could make the decision that heading east would be good because the sky is pretty damn impressive. And um, what I'll do in a minute is I'll just make a quick video of the sky because it really is looking quite wonderful. Hopefully it'll color up really nicely, but we shall see. But anyway, without further ado, I shall go and see what I can see at the coast here. All right, catch in a little while. Okay guys, well I hope you can see that the sky is looking um, pretty pretty impressive tonight. I must admit, hopefully, hopefully it'll colour up a little bit because we're not going to get any direct light on the land as such, but um, or the sea or the coast, shall I say. But um, hopefully this will all light up nicely. Now this is an idea for a little bit later perhaps when the sea has come in a little bit more using this, um, using this old piece of the groins and the sea defences here. Hopefully they'll get some... Um, get some waves around that and a bit of a long exposure thing that might look quite effective but um i'll just um log this one in the moment log this one in the nut at the moment and perhaps go back and try this one in a little while but for the moment let's go have a little explore see what else there is to do and hopefully this one will um pop up in a minute i might even try it now with the old the old six stop ten stop see what gives them um, see what gives a pleasing effect but i do feel that i need the the water in somewhere around here rather than Back where it is at the moment, but we shall see. Oh, this is quite a nice, handy little perch. Um, yeah, that worked quite nicely. I think the sea, the sea needed to come in a bit more. But what I'm going to do is now, I'm going to go to the other side of that little, um, the little sea defence thing there, or the remnant of the sea defences and try and shoot that way. The sky that side is looking really, really nice. It's um, a little bit heavy at the moment, but I'm just, again, like I said, I'm hoping that the, um, the sky will turn some rather lovely colors, but we shall see. Also got to keep an eye on the tide as well. It's not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna drown or anything tonight, but I've just got to keep an eye on it tonight. But um, yes, I'm gonna go to the other side, have a go that side, see if that works. 10 stop stuff. No, no, I tell a lie. No, not 10 stop. I was gonna talk about 10 stops. I was gonna say, at the end of the day, the six stop is an absolute godsend. I'm not one for standing there for two minutes waiting for an exposure and then with a nick on waiting for two minutes more exposure. So the six stop, it's an absolute godsend for that because you know, the exposure is so, so much less time. That wasn't very well put. Um, so, you know, they really are so handy. So the six stop will be used for this and hopefully that will come out okay. Okay guys, well obviously I've moved to the other side of the um, little bit of sea defense Thing. I don't really know what to call it, can you tell? Yeah, doesn't work this side, I don't think. I hope you'll agree with me. I've put the, I've put the tripod up as high as I can to get separation there, so you've got that lovely little gap there, because at, at my sort of eye height level, this was blending in with the groins behind there, and it was all a bit of a mess. I've given it a bit of separation here. I've brought the, um, I brought Haysborough Church into the shop for a little bit of something on the left-hand side, but. Ultimately, I don't think this really works, or it may work when the sea is a bit further in, and it's more of a, this is sitting out in the middle of a sort of a, a, a 30 second sea, you know, but I'm not entirely sure, but you know, I'll have a go. So I'll put this one up as it is in a minute, and hopefully I, yeah, hopefully I can try, or well, hopefully the light is still with me, when the sea is um, when the sea is further up around here, then um, that might work quite nicely with the original shot. But anyway, I'll put this one up in a tick. Well, I'll be honest, guys. I'm not 100% sure if either of those images worked. 
and I'm not really sure if I'll get anything of any use at all tonight, but it's just great to be out and it's never, never a problem to come out and practice. I get very, very rusty, make many mistakes if I'm, um, if I've not been, you know, been out for a while. So it's always good to go out and practice. So I'll have a go at some more long, long exposure stuff in a minute. It's just going to be a long exposure. I can't see me doing anything else. There's no, um, there's no detailed stuff and things to do there. I suppose I could really have gone round to the, um, to the wall of the wall of rust where I started this vlog. But um, I've got plenty of time to come back here and do that. But obviously, it's not every night that you get certain conditions. And I must admit, the sky is lovely. So. You know, it's going to be 10 stop stuff. So um, I'll get back out there and try some more and put some up. Um, yeah, it's just too good to be out and practice. Okay, here we go. Oh, if I can get my legs up. Oh dear, old, old, old. Oh guys, well I hope you can hear me, hear me above the waves here. Yeah, that's come out rather nice. I'm rather pleased with the shot that I've got here. I'm going to pop the old um, six stop back in and have another go, but. Uh, it's worked out rather nicely. I thought it was going to be a bit of a sea of white at the front. But there's actually quite a little bit of definition in the um, in the waves, and that doesn't look like a big blast of white. I'm not a fan of those great big, you know, huge, huge long exposure things, you know, minutes and minutes. I, I like a good little 10 second, 20 second, 30 second type thing. That will do me. So I'll put these, put a couple of versions up in a minute, but yeah, rather nice. Got to keep an eye on this tide though. Oh guys, I hope you can hear me above the sea. It's a little bit noisy. I've just plonked the um, tripod on the seawall where I was speaking to you from earlier. Just give me that little bit of height to again separate the little bit of sea defense from the groins in the distance. And this has worked quite nicely as, um, as a six stop exposure. I've done one at about 20 seconds. I've done one at 25 seconds. It works rather nicely. What I'm gonna try and do now is hopefully try and catch a little bit of action in the waves rather than that, um, you know, rather than the smooth effect. I want to try and get some of the waves curling over with a little bit of, um, with a little bit of, you know, uh, definition in the waves. I, I know what I'm trying to say. Getting late, you know, I should really be in bed with my cocoa now. So let's see if I can do that. I'm just looking at the bloody levels on this and they look like they're going to be a bit distorted. I'm probably talking a bit too loud. But anyway, I hope this is all right. And I shall put up the versions of long exposures and slightly less exposures after this. I've just been shooting this, this view, guys. All very simple, very basic. You've seen it a million times before long exposure stuff tonight but again it's all practice it never does any harm to just get out there and practice so that's what i'm doing tonight just having a little just making sure i'm okay and not rusty with long exposure stuff my only trouble is at the moment i haven't got a um, a release cable but that doesn't really matter i'm using the i'm using the six stopper i haven't got the 10 stopper and i'm not going to and i'm just keeping the um exposures within about 30 seconds so that's great and there's absolutely enough movement I think we've got my trainers on, I'm about to get soaked. No, I'm not, I've just missed that one. That was a bit of luck. Um, so yeah, I'll put this one up in a minute. Yes, rather pleasing. Like I say, not gonna change the world, but just pleasing, nice bit of practice. And hopefully I can just move along and get something else. Oh, there's some nice cloud coming in um, to, the, to the south there, but whether that will go over the sea, I don't know, but I'm gonna move before this wave gets me. Woohoo! I rather like the look of this one. Um, just like the, the lovely colours of the rust there and the beautiful warmth, warmth from the orange tones in the wood where they're also the rust has come in from the bolts and the nails. Um, again, I think this is one that I'll try on a longer shutter speed and one maybe on a shorter one to catch some decent waves. There's some, some pretty nice, hopefully this one there coming in, I'll just show you what I'm after. Those sort of things there, some sort of nice splashes there that sort of thing there so hopefully i can get that looking quite good but we shall see yeah lovely wow 
wow guys, look at that sky, that is fantastic. And I thought that was the end and I thought it was all gonna go a bit blue like a lot of the evenings have been recently. You know, you get these wonderful clouds during the day and then end of the day, all goes blue. But tonight, for a change, it's all come back in. So I can keep on going. So there'll be a few more long exposures. Nothing's good, they're all gonna look the bloody same, but hey, whatever. Yeah, that's moody, love it. And I did that, I did that, I did that. I didn't do that. Well guys, I think I'd better sign off here as um, it's getting a bit dark and I'm shooting at what, God knows what ISO it is. Bloody awful ISO, something like that. Still wonderful, still take some more shots after I've done this, see what happens, see what I can get and I'll put them up in a little while. But thanks for joining me for, rather, for this rather hurried okay, move. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll um, catch you later on. Thanks ever so much for watching guys.